and the three of them are massive for the squad off the pitch, let alone on the pitch. Um, but you know they're, they're fully supporting everyone behind. You look at what Dan does still in training, the influence he has, um, and then Jack and, and Tom are just big, big sort of voices off the pitch, and they can still add a lot. Uh, even though they are injured. He's fantastic, pretty much. I think, obviously, initially, he was a bit frustrated because it's obviously come from nowhere, mm. pretty much. But, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, he understands the, the, the success. He's probably a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel now. He's hugely disappointed that he isn't going to put a wash jersey on uh, this year. But I suppose on, a, on the other side of the coin, you know, we, we've all hoped that he's going to be on, on that plane going to Japan. Um, he certainly is going to be uh, available to for their preparations, really. So there's no reason why he shouldn't be on that. And so you can see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, but he's 100 percent behind the players. He's involved in training. He can't take any contact, but but he's involved. You know, just running about. You know, uh, sort of playing nine off line outs and obviously scrums and so on. He can't get involved in with any um, live contact sessions, but. He's around the place. He, you know, he's involved in the analysis, which is, which is important. He's 100 percent behind everything, but his spirits are fantastic, and his strength of character has always been been first class with him. In fairness.